Hello there guys, welcome to another video. I'm out for another wild camp with Lado there, Steve from Outdoors Lifestyle. We're pitched up in the Lake District National Park and I've been testing out some of my lightweight camping slash backpacking gear. So we arrived yesterday afternoon and parked up down in Grasmere, we had a swift pint in the Traveller's Rest and then we took a steady walk up towards Grisdale Tarn, the Grasmere area has got some stunning scenery and um, we walked up past Helm Crag and our initial uh, destination was Seat Sandal which overlooks Grisdale Tarn but we got here a little bit late and we were losing light quite quickly so we decided to pitch up a little bit closer to the tarn. Grisdale Tarn is just the other side of that little hill. And we found two excellent little pitches overlooking the valley down there. And I'm literally pitched just at the top of a beautiful little waterfall. So I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of some of the gear that I've used on this trip. I'll start with the tent. This is the Terra Nova Photon 1. The tent itself weighs in at only 670 grams. Now this one's got an optional footprint which adds another couple of hundred grams, I think it's 200 grams, 195, something like that. Um, I think it would be a worthwhile investment to protect your tent. Again, I've gone with the Thermarest Neoair X Lite. This pad is simply phenomenal, I think. I've gone with a little foil mat underneath. So being as this is my lightweight kit, although it was zero degrees last night, I didn't bring the Alp kit bag. I've gone with a Cumulus top quilt. So this is the Taiga 360. And I think this is comfort rating of down to minus five or minus six. I can't remember off the top of my head. I didn't even bring any beers last night. I went for a hip flask with some cognac in it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit the little bell notification symbol, and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. Surprising how much weight half a dozen cans of Punk IPA is. Got myself some new tent stakes. So these are the MSR Carbon Core. I really like these. Very lightweight, very strong. Looks like it's bent there, but it's the GoPro for you, look. Whoa. And they weigh in at under six grams each. I did bring a couple of the Delta pegs because I wasn't sure how windy it was going to be. But to be honest, we didn't really need them last night. So it's a bit of a pig sty in here. And there's not a huge amount of space inside these Terra Novas, but there's plenty of room for a single person. And I did get my bag at the side of me as well. And considering we were touching freezing point last night I was toasty warm with all the equipment that I brought. I got pitched up right on sunset last night the first time that I've properly pitched this tent it was quite straightforward to do other than it does have this top cover um, I don't think you need that on this tent but I put it on because it's got these little guy ropes for extra stability. I did take some footage last night, uh, so I'll, I'll show you that now so you can see what I had for supper and the stove that I used. You can tell I've not been out for a while. This is the first proper hike of 2019. I'm shattered. But we're not too far away now. This is tougher than it looks starting to lose the light a little bit now we still haven't reached our destination Grisdale Tarn's just over this little ridge but we're supposed to be heading up there up on Seat Sandal I don't think we're going to make it tonight so we might end up pitching just up at Grisdale Tarn we've got about 10 minutes to find somewhere to pitch it's definitely going to be a cold one it's always stepping stones isn't there one day I'm going to film myself falling in. It's 
Not a bad view, is it? It's getting quite breezy next to the tarn, so we'll come over the other side. Here, this little waterfall. And we'll have a good view of the valley in the morning. There's just enough room here for two tents. So that's the tent up. It's kind of a bit blustery now. So I'm going to chuck all my gear in the tent, make myself comfy. Supper time. The cooks I'm using today is made by Avenue. Titanium alcohol stove and pot. Can't remember the exact weight, but I think it's about 175 grams for the whole kit. It's got a 500 mil mug with a lid. In here I store my alcohol. And then inside there's a combined wood stove and alcohol stove. So I've got a titanium alcohol burner there. And then these two parts connect to make a wood burner. And then the pot nestles in on top. So I'll get this set up just outside the tent. So the stove just nestles inside. I'm going to use a couple of these Terra Nova tent stakes to hold the stove in place. That'll make sure the stove can't be knocked over easily. We don't want any accidents, do we? I'm gonna squirt that into the stove. There we go. I'm gonna quickly get a windshield around it. Get some water in the pot. I'll just sit back and wait. So this is what I'm having tonight. Chicken fajita with rice again. These are pretty good um, if you want to do some lightweight backpacking. I think it weighs in at yeah, 128 grams. And for that you're getting a 639 calorie meal. And the summer to eat meals, uh, I think they're the tastiest dehydrated meals you can get. So I'll pick one of these up as well. It's uh, GSI micro pot gripper so these are what i'm going to be using from now on for taking hot pans off stoves and things you just get two fingers and then you pinch whatever it is you need to lift off and the heat proof silicon works a treat remembered again so we've got a boil going So these might be a bit hot, so we'll use the little grippers. And then we'll chuck some water in here. I don't even know how much I need, to be honest. Should have had the label, shouldn't I? And I'll zip that up and set it aside for five minutes. I'll chuck a little bit more water on, so I can have a coffee. That'll be enough. Just the same three in one that I normally have. Not oh, actually that hot now. A little bit of chicken for heat on the spoon, so that should add to the coffee, okay. Unfortunately, with that stove, you can't put it out, you just have to make sure you don't put way too much fuel in and then let it burn out. I'm trying to cut back on the, the weight I've carried. I haven't brought any beers up with me tonight, but I've brought some cognac. I'll also add a nice little kick to my coffee. All the best for 2019. Oh, that is bang on.
All right, this should be done now. Doesn't look too bad. That's just what the doctor ordered. So these are the actual tent stakes that come with the Terra Nova. They're really, really useful. You got something stuck in your teeth, or um, we need to pin a little stove down to the ground. But for holding a tent down, useless. We've been out for half an hour, bit of a wander. Um, lit up the tents, had a go at a bit of nighttime photography. The wind's calmed down quite a bit. The ground's a little bit boggy around here, in places anyway. Steve's out in the Wild Country Helm 1 again. Still impressed with it, mate? Fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. For that type of money, I, I, I really feel to see a better tent for £120. That's a strong and light. <coughs> loves it. He loves it. So that's it for tonight. I'm gonna get my head down now and I'll see you in the morning. Right, I'm back to Sunday morning. I've had a walk down the valley a little bit. This is gorgeous. So the tents are about 50 to 100 meters up there, I'm not sure exactly. If I needed a bath and it wasn't so cold, I'd be in. But it's not bath day till the 21st. So I'm not bothering getting the kettle on this morning. There's a cafe literally yards away. <coughs> Steve's making the brew. Like the wife, like the wife. <laughs> I wasn't at all disappointed in last night's pitch. Look at that for a view. And we're right next to this gorgeous stream. We've even got waterfalls. About time to get packed away to leave this stunning view. It's been a really good camp. This morning we've taken plenty of photos, messed around with time lapses and things like that. So if you want to see those, please check out my Instagram and my Facebook page, which I'll, I'll link below and put on the screen. Right, I better get packed up, off the hill, and then get some breakfast. So everything that you see here went into my Osprey Exos 48 pack, and it weighed in at eight kilograms. That is before I added my water. So it was not what my friends over in the US would call ultralight, but for a UK winter setup, that's pretty light compared to what most guys are carrying. So I'm almost packed away. I just thought I'd show you this tent when it's packed. So you can see how small it compresses. And this, so the weight of the tent with the poles, 670 grams on its own. I really like this. This is my pack with what was eight kilos in it. Only difference now is it's got my Paramo jacket in instead of the down jacket, which I'm gonna wear to go down. I did also bring a litre of water. Um, I have swapped out the Nalgene bottle for just a regular Coca-Cola bottle. And daft as it seems, that saves me about 120 grams. So this is the area where we camped. We're just the other side of Grisdale Tarn, so we're somewhere down here. Again, a very simple weight saving. This weighs 120 grams less 
than bringing the full OS maps that I normally bring. Bum bag. Bum bag. Not there, sir. That's where it's at. There we go. All packed away. Just a bit of flat grass. And I'll leave you with that stunning view. Steve's gone to bag another waterfall. It's gorgeous around here. Like this for a bath. This would make a lovely wild camping spot. You know, for somebody who's who's new to it, Grassmere is about half an hour down there. You've got a cracking pitch there with that stunning waterfall behind you. And then you've got the views of all the mountains as well. So we've got about 10, 15 minutes to go. And then we're back at the car. We're gonna call and get a fry up and then back to reality.